Educational Shorts of the Old West. There's a giant tarantula looming over the credits here. Which of these letters is doing its own thing? As usual, Centron is at pains to establish the parking of the car. And it's... Famous hangout, the place where Lawrence High plots the downfall of every other school. This is it. And you, my good lady, are one fine provider of exposition. I'll tell him you came from Mars. No, men are from Mars. I'm from Venus. Hey, that guy was in What About Prejudice? What would you do for a Klondike bar? And that music was in What About Prejudice? Come on, Centron, do something new. Booyakasha. Down, boy. My cousin. If he tries to hump your leg, just swat his nose. Your cousin? Oh, this is too good to be true. My Does she have a twin cousin? For a long time, so go away. Let us rattle the family skeletons in peace. Oh, Jim, if I... Could I maybe speak for myself here or not? Protect uh, her. Poopsicus. All right, all right. Spoil the sport. He's a smooth operator. Even the wolves are nice. Find the armband. Oh, they're from the fascist club. Been out ringing doorbells. They play doorbell ditch. It's kind of immature. I got everyone in my block signed up early this afternoon. You spent your Saturday working for the United Sons. I had no idea you were such a sucker. I wouldn't believe it. That's pretty wonderful, you know it. Well, actually, we had a lot of fun doing it. Look, you can drop the bullshit act. This is not a job interview. She's like a walking toothpaste commercial. You know, you've really got it here at Lawrence. You've got it, Rupert Pupkin. And you're stuck with it. And I don't care if you wanted to get rid of it. You couldn't. Golly. I wish the kids at Westport had a small idea of some of the things Lawrence has done. What's wrong with Westport? You've got school spirit. Or teen spirit, anyway. It certainly smells like teen spirit. I never saw so much. Spirit? Sure. We've got a sort of school spirit. It's the ghost of a dead janitor who used to work at the school. It's probably just an urban myth. It doesn't make any difference if it's sports or debate or competition for a scholarship. We know that Lawrence High is always going to be the hardest to beat. You always get beat, but of all the schools that get beat, you're the hardest to beat. You're not a big school. That can't be the reason you're always on top. <laughs> Whoa. So why are you? Well, I like being on bottom, too. I, I like all the positions, really. I just... I'd say Bob Corby had a lot to do with it. Bob Corby? I don't remember Bob Corby. Sure you do. Don't you? Don't you? Senior class in all state the year we were freshmen. Oh, that Bob Corby. But he's been yes living as a woman. He's been gone from Lawrence High a long time. But he left his mark. Right on that fire hydrant in front of the school entrance. I can remember a little bit of what it was like before his time. That was B.C. before Corby. We had then what everybody thinks of as school spirit: a pep club, cheerleaders. All four of them. Craig, I'm wide open. Come on, Craig. <laughs> Dribbling is not second nature for him. Whenever we won, we really cut loose. Snake dances, snorting up traffic. Snorting up traffic? What? Racing up and down streets, blaring car horns. Wrapping our cars around telephone poles. People didn't get much sleep. And I got your school spirit right here, you little bluster bums. Sometimes noise wasn't enough. Sometimes it was kid stuff, such as painting the school initials in places where they had no business to be. If we'd had any sense, we'd have... All right, clear out of here, school initials. You have no business to be here. And then let's see. Yes, it was still my freshman year. We had a pep assembly. That is, an assembly to discuss automotive maintenance, sponsored by the pep and boys. And some yells, the members of the team talking to the student body. But, well... I remember what Bob Corby said when it was... Bob was a transsexual, but pretty in a Natalie Wood sort of way. Tennis great Andy Murray? I'm not much of a speaker, so 
The first thing I think is if we took a vote right here and now, well, it would probably be unanimous in favor of the basketball team not making speeches in assembly. <laughs> Dale Carnegie said self deprecation would get a laugh, and he was right. You probably don't realize it. And I don't know just how to say it. Because it's a quote from some fella named Goethe, and frankly, I don't speak German any better than I speak English. Any one of us who play on it. Boring. We spend a lot of time practicing, and a lot of time learning the play. A lot of time planning date rapes. Sometimes, well, we get to thinking we're pretty good. Then reality strikes. But when the day of the game rolls around, well, our insides get shaky. It's not pre-game jitters. You see, the entire team has Crohn's disease. If it weren't for all of you, and the way you feel about Lawrence High School... Lawrence High School, über alles, über alles in der Welt. You can feel that spirit. Right now. Right here in this assembly. It's a kind of sickly sweet nausea mixed with puerile pride and a blind excitement driven by barely suppressed hormonal imperatives. A feeling of... but I digress. And with that kind of spirit... And my unibrow... I don't see how we can lose. Well, he did warn us about his poor oratory skills. You can't fault him for false advertising. Well, that threw it right into our laps. Bob Corby was a hero to every... <laughs> Boy, the recent downsizing has really impacted the cheerleading squad. Well, we weren't going to let Bob Corby down. Those were the weeks when school spirit began to mean more than just norms. It began to mean unjustified arrogance, bad faith, and ill will toward the other team. When Bob fouled out in the last minutes with the score tied, we didn't hear the referee. Are you hearing this, John McEnroe? Who were still in. That's what Bob was doing. We all had a new idea of good sportsmanship that all of us wanted to live. Come on, Craig, I'm wide open. Toward the championship. Lawrence High was rated one of the top teams in the state. A state with very few black guys in it. Right in the middle of the season, halfway to the championship, Bob got sick. Really sick. Dope sick. He was the spark plug of the team. I was more like the left rear tire, but this is not about me. Hmm. Did I ever respond to Carol's tweet about American Idol? I think I did, didn't I? Everybody became more determined than ever to carry on with what Bob had started. I became more determined to carry on my impression of a teenaged Mike Wallace. He was too smart for that. He knew that's what we were all thinking anyway. Well, there was no... This just in, President Kennedy has been shot. Repeat, the president has been shot in Daly Plaza. Letting them know we were for them. And you know, it was a thing that carried over into every classroom. It carried over into the Bodies Revealed exhibit when it came to our school. See what fruits and vegetables do to your heart. Stick to steak and eggs. If you look at it that way, you realize that there isn't anybody more on your side than the teacher is, whatever class you're in. Wrong, 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 and wrong. Yep, you're on the trade school track. They were teaching a full day's schedule. And, then and Mao Zedong's Little Red Book of Communism. Jobs like helping plan construction. Inside the actor studio, training the next generation of waiters for New York City. Other things. And we didn't want just the teachers doing things for the good of the school. Like building this bomb. Ourselves. Enrollments and debate and dramatics and science clubs jumped way up. Why, even the gay chess club saw a spike in enrollment. Scholarship and extracurricular ratings as we were of our other victories. One student won a National Merit Scholarship that year, and everyone in school felt a personal pride in his accomplishment. Of course, when he later wrote a political manifesto and attempted to blow up the DMV, we tried to distance ourselves from him as much as possible. But that didn't matter. We knew any school would probably trade their shiny new buildings for what we had. So, I'm thinking Subway for lunch. Are, are all you guys okay with that? Boy, I'll never forget the championship game that year. This isn't it, but I'll never forget it. It was at this game that the cheerleading squad showcased its new rotating swastika formation. 
Jim and his cousin sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. There wasn't an empty seat in the house. The whole student body turned out, even though the sports writers favored Washington High to beat us by at least eight points. After all, we didn't have Corby. Yes, Corby, who we were beginning to learn was totally expendable. Every man on the team was an inspired ball player. He had to be. Washington High didn't stand a chance. Uh, but wait, everyone, the game has 30 more seconds left. Go back in your seats. Please, everyone, clear the court and get back to the bleachers. This segment brought to you by Craftmatic Adjustable Beds. And I was one of those who went along when we took Bob Corby the championship trophy we had won. Hey, I'm real happy about your win, guys, but they're giving me dilaudid at this place. <laughs> Man, that shit is the bomb. You're great in the tournament. I'll never forget how you came from behind and walloped him. I could feel it just lying here listening on the radio. I knew just ah, how did he just change positions and morph into Tom Cruise? I only wish L. Ron Hubbard could have been here to see this. I wish I could have been playing with you, but I guess you just had to take things as they come your way. So are you going to play a few bars on that trumpet or fondle it to death? I'm just as proud of this trophy as if I'd helped you win it. Makes me want to jump up and down on Oprah's couch. Thanks, fellas. Well, I guess you remember what happened. His engrams came back and he yeah. never again reached a state of clear. The world doesn't help. Sometimes you got to lose. Are those ants? It was hard to realize that Bob was gone. Hey, in the background on the left, it's Alfred Hitchcock's daughter, Pat. She's even got the British overbite. He'd shown us something else. And she's with Anne Frank. He'd shown that you can lose like a champion, too. I think it's wonderful the way you feel about him, Jimmy. I have a feeling this is about to get weird. But I think you're all wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. Way to denigrate the dead and hurt your cousin's feelings in one stroke. She's good. I'm just saying that you're wrong to give Bob Corby all of the credit. But it was Bob. I know it was Bob. <laughs> all those things he said. Somebody says almost the very same thing at every pep assembly. Without Is this really an appropriate time to be starting a heated argument? She must be on the spectrum. Be proud of the way you're proud of Bob Corby. Now on to the matter of how much we should tip our waitress. They would have. You say known Bob. There are kids at Lawrence now who never knew Bob Corby. Oh, can't you see? The spirit was there all the time. You it's always had the power of school now. spirit, You're Dorothy. No, I'm not. I'm closer to it than you are. You just it's don't you understand women and men in conversation. It would have died when he did. But it hasn't. It had to be all of you. QED. Well, how can you argue with a woman? But I did argue with it. I argued with her for hours. So they went from what about school spirit to who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? It was Bob Corby, Martha, don't you see? Oh, Georgie, Bob Corby had nothing to do with it. But you know... Fourth walls are for assholes. Since then, I've been wondering more and more. Is it okay to have sex with your cousin? Is Sally right? Was Bob Corby really less important than I thought to Lawrence High? Or was it Lawrence High that made Bob Corby important? Stop the projector now and discuss. Can any school build our kind of school spirit if it looks around to see all the things it has to be proud of? Does school spirit smell anything like teen spirit? Or do they both have their own distinct odors? I don't know. I swear on this Bible, I just do don't think? know. Oh, curse that damn Centron question mark. Will you please stop popping up at the end? Just stop pressuring me! Fooey.